My name is Dorian Pru. Um, that's my colonial name. It was given to me at birth. And my given name is Umbatepin. So, Stony Nakoda um, for Evening Star. I just did a lot of like asking around with my elders about where this came from. Um, and the story behind it originates from my nation. So that's quite interesting that um, growing up, though I didn't grow up in a very traditional family, um, that I didn't know that that jingle came from my nation, which would make sense of why I have a close connection to it. But jingle, I think, came from what it means to the community. It's to heal the community. So I think that was my interest. When I first started, like you experience a lot of judgment. And I think that comes from that it is a competitive environment, you know, that people are there to win. If I were to talk to my younger self or like a younger sister, I would say like, you know, dance for you with your eyes like this. It doesn't matter what other people are doing or how other people are dancing or how many competitions they win. It's you're here for your reasons and winning isn't always what it's about. I think I dance um, for prayers more than I dance to win. And for me, that just means like, you know, I realize that I might not win every competition and that's okay. But I think what's more important to me is that I'm, I'm there to do what the category was meant to do, and that's to heal our community. And I think when you start dancing, one of the first um, struggles a lot of dancers go through is like that their regalia isn't finished and they feel kind of out of place because there's these women and men, of course, who have been dancing for years and they have this like intricate set of regalia that every time you look at them, you're looking at something new that you've never seen before. As you build your regalia, you kind of get over that in a way um, and just learn to like get used to it and adjust your way of thinking from Oh, my regalia is not done to, it's okay, it's going to be done soon. The few friends that I have made in the circle have been really good ones and people that I consider family. So I think as I continue this, my challenge to myself has always been to try to make one friend at every, every place I go. It feels good to be in a space where you look around and everybody you see are are you, right? You see your community. And I think that for a very long time in my life, I uh, didn't see that um, like representation. It was all very like um, Western. So being able as an adult now to like have the comfort of having my community around me has been very healing. Is the main feeling I feel is I'm very grateful to be able to be there and to be able to dance um, and I think a thought that always comes to my mind right when I'm like going to dance a gig or a powwow is like I wouldn't be here without my family. I had a sister who when I first started dancing let me borrow her dress for a really long time and without her I you know I wouldn't have been able to dance so I would have I would have had to wait longer to you know find a dress and to start that process so i'm very grateful for all the people that have made it happen i think is what i feel for the most part as i progress in my dancing journey next season i'm going to be dancing fancy um, so i still will dance jingle on like special occasions like um, powwow specials or for prayers but next season I'm, I'm transitioning into dancing fancy because i danced fancy when i was little so i think I think I was always kind of meant to be a fancy dancer in some way. Um, but I think the reason that I, I have some sort of connection to fancy dancing is because of um, the purpose behind it. And, and it's a parallel to the men's fancy category in a way to be like, we can do this too. You know, we're fast too. We're flashy too. And I, and I think that's very beautiful. Yeah.